Hi friends, this is not our usual Sunday morning video because we are not doing our usual thing this Sunday. Uh, this is September 20th. It's the one year anniversary uh, of the fire at our church and we wanted to commemorate that and really wanted to do that together. Um, and so we think we've come up with a way that we can do that safely and I can't wait to see you all. Um, and so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how today works. Um, hopefully you'll watch this video before you come and you will come and park in the back or park on the street if you want, but you to enter the sanctuary, we need you to come through the back gate and into the sanctuary that way. Um, part of the issue that we have in trying to create space for us to be together is that our building has a lot of choke points where it's really hard to stay distant from each other. And uh, you'll see in the plans that that's one of the things that we're gonna work on, um, but we really need to keep one-way traffic through the sanctuary. So you can only go into the sanctuary uh, from the door that's off the courtyard that you'll enter from the back gate. So come in that way uh, and you'll go, you'll be given um, a piece of paper to take into the sanctuary with you. And it has some reflection questions and a, a poem for a prayer prompt. And uh, so if you want to spend a few minutes praying in the sanctuary, we invite you to do that. Uh, but part of the reason for the paper, in addition to your reflection, is for you to leave behind something wherever you sit in the sanctuary uh, so that folks will know that someone has been seated there before and they'll sit somewhere else. Uh, so you'll be given a piece of paper that we hope you'll leave behind. And then as you walk out of the sanctuary, uh, you'll see the plans for the new building as you go. There's a link to a feedback form that you'll see as well. Uh, and then you'll head outside where you can do communion and the backpack blessing. Um, and in both outside in the front yard and where you come in, uh, in the back, there'll be a table if you brought Gatorade or cards for firefighters. There'll be a place uh, for you to put those. So you're going to get to hear our music ministry on some of their new instruments and restored instruments. And so I'm really excited for you to see all of that. Uh, if you are a student or have students or kiddos in your house, or if you're an educator, I especially hope you'll come for our blessing of the backpacks. Or if you'd like to bring whatever device you're using for online school and have that blessed, we'd love to do that as well. If you're still not comfortable coming to an in-person thing, we do understand that. Um, we have reserved the 8.30 half hour uh, for folks in more vulnerable populations. And so invite you to come then if you're comfortable. Uh, if you're not for this week, uh, I hope what you'll do is go and catch up on uh, a week that you missed or go listen to one of your favorite sermons. Pick your favorite children's time with Ben and listen to that again. Um, pick your favorite hymns. Uh, and go and catch up on some things you might have missed or might want to revisit. And um, we'll be back to our usual programming next week. Beyond today, there's lots coming up in the life of our church. We're about to kick off our fall studies. Even in, you know, before time, we used to always kick off new studies in the fall, and we're still going to do that. We're just doing it a little later um, because we know that things with school and getting back to that routine is really difficult. And so we want to give some time to adjust. Um, but Starting in early October, we'll be kicking off new fall studies at all different times and all different kinds of things. Um, so especially in this season right now, I hope you'll take some time to join one of those and information will be coming to you about that. This is an important day in the life of our church. Uh, we've had quite a year together. And so this is an important day for us to commemorate, even though it's in many ways a sad day. I'm sad too that we can't just be all together in our sanctuary so that we can remember it together in the ways that we have been accustomed to. Um, and so this is the two minute version of the sermon I would have given you if we had been able to be together. I have to tell you a story first though about a plant. So there's a plant that if you come to church today, you will see uh, on the altar where we're having communion. And this plant arrived at my house this week. It was brought by Jane Ista. Um, and the story of the plant goes back all the way to last September 20th. So it's no secret that this has been a difficult year. It's been a difficult year for everyone. But of all the things that were difficult for me about the fire, one of the most stressful parts was figuring out all the stuff. There was so much damage and so much had been ruined or damaged and you had to figure out what was worth keeping and trying to save and what just had to go and what had already gone and we didn't know it and where everything was and how it had gotten all kind of piled together. Uh, and it was so stressful. And I'm so grateful to so many people who helped um, to Craig Simons and Charles C. Nethery and to Stephen Jane Ista and so many folks I'm not thinking of who 
worked out in the heat in those containers and tried to figure out what goes where. And one of the things Steve and Jane found in the container was this sad little plant. It's just a house plant that had been, we think, in room 109. And it had been in that container full of burnt out stuff for at least three or four months. So it was not in good shape. It had this one tiny little sprig of life left. And what I probably would have said is just get rid of it. You know, I couldn't process any more junk. Throw it away. It's a plant. But Jane and Steve saw the possibility of life in that plant. And so they took it home and they cared for it uh, and nurtured it. And this week it showed up as this beautiful, thriving plant. And they wondered, and I wonder too, if that is a harbinger of things to come for St. Mark's. It certainly feels like a story of this year where everything seemed ruined and not even worth looking for new life in, but where somebody bothered to see that there was some possibility and that something could come back so fully. Uh, it's such a, a lush, full plant now. It's not just come back to life a little, it has come back to life abundantly. Uh, and that's what I continue to see happening for St. Mark's. And that is still the future that I know God has for us. Uh, and so when I see that plant, it helps me to remember uh, what is to come for us. And that even though this year has been hard, that God is still at work in it. And that somewhere deep in all that dirt and awful is new life springing forth that will one day be abundant and thriving again. And as I know that's true of our church, I know it's true of you too in this um, pandemic season and with all of these things going on in the world around us. Uh, we trust that God is still at work in the dirt and at work in the chaos, bringing a new thing. And so I look forward to celebrating that with you all. I wanna share with you especially for those who won't be there, the blessing uh, that is on the paper that you'll get to go into church with. And so you can receive this blessing. To all that is chaotic in you, let there come silence. Let there be a calming of the clamoring, a stilling of the voices that have laid their claim on you, that have made their home in you, that go with you even to the holy places, but will not let you rest will not let you hear your life with wholeness or feel the grace that has fashioned you. Let what distracts you cease. Let what divides you cease. Let there come an end to what diminishes and demeans and let depart all that keeps you in its cage. Let there be an opening into the quiet that lies beneath the chaos where you find the peace you did not think possible and see what shimmers in the storm. Friends, my prayer this day is that you'll find peace you did not think possible. Amen.